Hi there, Chelsea here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please give a thumbs up and subscribe so we can keep growing our little family. Honestly, just to quickly touch on my lingerie video from two days ago, three days ago, this week sometime, uh, I did not expect the outpouring of love on that video. So that's just like a huge, this is just a big thank you from me to you guys at how amazing you guys were. Obviously I'm used to being picked on. So all the kindness in that video was just like overwhelming. There was lots of crying. And thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I'm even wearing it now. Anyways, <laughs> jumping into today's video, I'm doing what will probably be my last Stitch Fix try on. I'm kind of done. Like this shirt I got from Stitch Fix in my last um, Stitch Fix try on. I loved it and now it seems like we may have gone in the opposite direction. Nothing wrong with the clothes, just the price and the style. It just ain't me. This is more me. Hanging out in my underwear and a Nike t-shirt. But let's just jump into the clothes so you guys can judge for yourself. Oh hey there. Here's contestant number one. It is this nice olive crisscrossy t-shirt. Um, it's, it's not blowing me away. I feel like I could get this t-shirt pretty much anywhere. Um, I feel like I've seen this similar t-shirt actually at like American Eagle. I do like the crisscross. I do like the color. I like the sleeves, so they're long enough. But, what is this? It's $35. Girl, I could go to Forever 21 and put a whole outfit together for $35. I don't have that kind of cash. But contestant number two is this skirt. And while I am looking for more skirts, I don't know if this looks good on me. It's giving me weird vibes. It's obviously, I'm not wearing the right underwear because it's squeezing right here. Here, I'll tilt this up so you can still see my fizz. But yeah, it's just hugging me right here, and that's because of my underwear, I guess, but I don't know. I really like pencil skirts, and I actually really like the design, but I don't feel like this fits me right. I just don't think it looks good. I'm a little bit of a hoe, and I think I would like it a little bit shorter. I do like it with the green. Like, I think these look cute, but I don't know. I'm not vibing. <laughs> with this outfit at all. I just think that when things don't fit right, they tend to look sloppy. If I'm looking over here, it's cause I've got a little mirror over here, but I just think this looks a little sloppy. But I'll show you guys in the mirror too, cause I also have to show you the shoes. I really wanna like the shoes, but they don't fit either. <laughs> okay. So here's the full outfit in the mirror. Oh my God, you're getting the behind the scenes of all my lights. But here's the shoes. So there are these adorable little ballerina slippers. Very cute, crisscross. Oh yeah, so I shaved one leg the other day and I got tired and then I didn't shave this leg. So if you wanna get grossed out, hello. I have no excuse either because it is warm enough in Texas to be wearing shorts. <laughs> So yeah, just, I don't know, the shoes, the shoes are too tight on my ankles. As you can see, I'm already kind of like pouring out of them. They fit on my feet, but the ballerina part would cut my circulation immediately. My legs are already blue enough with being a clear person. But look, the color of my feet and legs aren't even the same color anymore. Oh, this ain't cute. So, I think it's a no on the shoes. I really like them and I would love some flats in this color. But clearly, I can't do this whole crisscross deal because it literally looks like, I look like a Bratz doll where my feet like come off. It's a vibe, but it's not the vibe I'm looking for. I feel very cute though. I'm liking this new setup too. What do you guys think? Ne next outfit. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going like a crazy girl. Next outfit. Oh, I thought maybe I'd be a nice broad and show you what the shirt looks like untucked. So give me a second. So there you go. Untucked. It is a nice length. 
So for t-shirts, I feel like sometimes they're too long or too short. This one does fit pretty friggin' perfectly worn just as a t-shirt. It has that nice little side slit. It covers the bum really cute. Not that I would ever want to cover this luscious behind. I don't know, Olive Shirt. If you were $8, I'd be all over you. That was a reach. That's a bad pun. Next shirt. Okay. This next top's actually kind of beautiful. <laughs> I might want to keep it. I don't know. Here, let me turn you guys down a little bit. But this is just really pretty and really flattering. I think it might actually be a little big on the sides. I'm not really sure how I could tighten that up. Actually, if I pull it down, it's not so bad, but this is actually really pretty. Let's see how pretty the price is. So this is $48, $50. So I gotta think this is a good shirt to go out to dinner. But is the person buying me dinner gonna spend 50 bucks? Babe, you're out here. Would you spend 50 bucks on dinner with me in this shirt? Cause this to me is like the perfect going out for dinner in the summer. This looks really cute. I don't know, I just love the detailing. I do love the button here. Because I mean, if this was open, it's a lot. It's a lot when it's open. <laughs> it would just be very boobalicious. But the button is in a nice spot. So I like the little frills here and it actually ties here on the waist as well. As tops go, it's very pretty. Let me know what you guys think. Pretty cute, but also pretty confident I could find it for not 50 bucks. Not the exact shirt, but I mean, they're not out here changing the world with a cinched waist and a little flouncy blousey front. Pretty sure I could find this. Let me know what you think. All right. This is the Mustafa $44 button down blouse. And I don't like it. <laughs> um, it's really long, which is probably the desired look, but I, it feels like a nighty. It's this weird like silky material. It's very long. I am left polka dotted and shapeless. Actually, it looks cute from this angle, but it, mirror, don't keep tricking me. It's just really, it's really effing long. I feel like it looks like a nighty. I don't know. I would like it if it was a little bit higher, showing off my hips that only tell vicious truths. But instead, it's here, and now I look like a, a box. I don't know. It's this. It's not ugly, but it's not my style. Like, I'm not feeling hip and sexy over here. I'm not feeling like, hello fellow young people. It's not like a 26 vibe. Like how many, I guess I could unbutton it all the way down and be like, hello. No, mm -mm. What if I roll the sleeves? Sometimes if I roll the sleeves, magic happens. No, these are some big sleeves, actually. No, I still look like I'm about ready for bed, which is kind of a mood. Insert me being Post Malone right here, always tired, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, no, this, this ain't it, sis. I don't know why I'm doing this. This feels like I'm not about to give you the tea. I'm about to invite you into my room just so we can look at each other while I fall asleep. This isn't cute. Uh, some of you out here might love this shirt and if you do, buy it. I will put the name of it down in the description but to me this is just looking like a nighty, and I don't like it. And unfortunately, I tell you what, Oh, I don't want to get the fan in here. That there is the end of our, our video, ladies and gentlemen. And I think, I think after a good, is, it the, is this the third or the fourth? I think this might be the end of our Stitch Fix relationship. 
because they are charging me 20 bucks a month at Yoi, you know? I'm not made of money. And that's a lot to pay. I, I understand the 20 bucks goes towards something if I like something, but I don't know if I want to spend any of my $20 towards all the $50 things I just tried on. I mean, I guess if I get the olive shirt, what was that, $38? It would be 18, but it's still 20. I gave them 20 bucks. So I don't know. Is anyone out there loving Stitch Fix? I know um, Sarah Ray Vargas just put a video out and she wasn't all that jonesed about it either. But I just feel like my stylist is, I even sent Pinterest boards and I'm telling you what, working mother wasn't on there, you know? But I'm glad I tried Stitch Fix. It's shown me some stuff I do like, and now I've like kind of changed my style a little bit to reflect some more of these like worky type outfits. But this ain't it. And uh, I think I need to try a new box. So if there's another one you guys would like me to try, I would love to try it. I know that there's other YouTubers out there already trying similar things, but my body might be like your body and their body might be like not your body. So maybe we should do the videos with their bodies and Anywho, you can follow me on Instagram at Quirky Curves. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. That always helps more people see it. And thanks so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Quirky Curves on Instagram. I might have already said that, but these outros are always really difficult. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video. See ya!